Shalom people. This is Brother Louds coming at you with another video. And sometimes when you're cleaning out the, the bathtub and you rinsing it down and as you see the uh, water go down the drain you know it makes that little whirlpool down into the the bottom down into the drain notice that as the water uh, gets closer to the uh, uh, entrance of the drain it starts spinning faster as it's getting ready to run out it's spinning faster but it's getting ready to run out so now that we are in the last of the last days because we know the last days started back in the, the apostles time the last days started that's what first john said we are living in the last days that in these days just as Yeshua or Jesus Christ as some of you call him is about to come back evil seems to be multiplied a thousand fold just as we're getting down to the end and it seems like man how can it be that we are close to the Lord coming back with so much evil you would think that uh, things would get better but the Bible says the direct opposite it said that as we get closer to the end evil shall increase because the devil knows that he has a short time and he said those that are righteous shall shine like the stars in the sky in the, in the sky because of the, the the wickedness the darkness that uh, surrounds this 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 globe and so we we look at the situation with the uh, uh, relationships between black men and black women where it seems like it has never been as bad as it is now where you have our black men uh, 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 agreeing with this lady named Tila Tequila I think that's her name I'm talking about uh, you know how black women uh, uh, have have baldness and 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 all this other kind of uh, stuff that she pulled out of the Bible, and you, and from my understanding, uh, uh, and, and and again, these these could be uh, plants, but I, I really don't think a lot of them are plants. I think a lot of these people that's in, I think, and I never been. I won't go to her channel. I'm just going by the reports I I've seen. But apparently in her comment section, there's a lot of black men and apparently a lot of black Hebrew Israelite men that are in agreement with her, which is kind of crazy, you know, because of them out there spitting, you know, the stuff they do on the street corners about uh, uh, Esau and Moab and Ammon and all these other nations that they think they know who they are, that they would be in agreement with uh this lady just shows you, like I said, that the closer we get, the worse the situations are going to seem to be. But as uh, sins abound, grace much more abounds. And we, we, we understand that all, all that which is of darkness we must bring the, the the light to this situation and being that it's so many 
women's channels out there that are talking against it, it's time for us as the uh, black men to put, to put our voices to this thing of this this uh, hatred between black men and black women, and 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 a righteous let's say righteous voices behind it, righteous black men voices behind it, and tell these black men this is of the devil. You are of the devil himself if you are cursing and you're blaspheming the the woman that produced you a black woman produced you so as you cursing them about their hair you're cursing them about uh their their weight you're cursing them about having unruly children which by the way you produce you sir are a foolish man you are a foolish man and you will die as a reprobate if you continue on with this nonsense uh uh talking about how Oh, you supposed to have all these different women that you are getting to a get on food stamps and only one of them that you're married to and you're not working and you're out here on the street corners talking about you doing the Lord work. And I think I said this in one of my videos before. And... <clears throat> Beware of the quote unquote full time uh, pastor. Beware of the full time pastors, full time mores, full time elders, all this foolishness. This is what the Catholicism, Christianity, Catholicism brought us with this priesthood when the apostles uh, came into being these were farmers fishermen Paul was a tent maker they Paul himself said if a man don't work he shouldn't eat he didn't talk about preaching he didn't talk about teaching he didn't talk about prophesying. He said, if you don't work, you don't eat. You have blasphemed the word of Yah out here preaching and teaching this nonsense about having a black woman as your heel hound. It's your fault. You are directly responsible for some of this madness that's going on in the Hebrew Israelite community. You, and even before this knowledge of who we are came out, uh, overall, because of the way we were allowed to act in slavery, this thing of impregnating a black woman and leaving her and going on to the next one is some kind of epigenetic uh, madness that has been passed on down the line to a lot of black men where they, they are like this song about Papa being a rolling stone. And it's, 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 it was welcome. It was, it was glamorized. So this has always been something that we have dealt with. But now you have this Hebrew Israelite ridiculous, ridiculousness talking about how it is sanctioned of the Most High, and it is what Paul warned against in the Book of Timothy, where he said some crept into houses 
of silly women and led them away with divers lust and we must curse it to the root we must curse these individuals to the root of where they come from which is the which is from satanic teachings from satanic uh, visitations that you had in your your perverted mind because as young Hebrew men we were raised to sow our wild oats but when we come to the knowledge of Yeshua and salvation and being born again we must denounce that lifestyle that we live we must denounce uh, uh, being playboys we must denounce um, trying to be the charmer we must denounce this to the ground and say enough of this where these men are beating on these women and 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 land uh, wreckage all across this nation and indeed across the world because we can remember that lady in england that was in one of those camps that turned up uh day i think her name was joy i am speaking out against it i'm speaking out against it because i grew up in a house of domestic violence where my father uh, did things to my mom and did to things to us that wasn't right. I'm denouncing it because it's not of yeah, it's not of God. I'm denouncing it right now, and I'm telling you, you you cannot you cannot be be you cannot be saved doing this. The Bible says that husband love your wives he said no man hateth his own flesh and the bible also said the man that does not take care of his household is worse than an infidel an unbeliever meaning that the the, the most scallywag uh, uh, overboard sinner is in a better place than you are with your religious nonsense on the street corners and you got like i said you pimping out you really are pimping out women when you talking about i got i got wives in every city but i only got one that i'm married to but they all on food stamps this is of the devil but this is not nothing new that started when the camps came the camps already had the blueprint because we and the black community have men because statistically women have always outnumbered us the the the, the sympathy card was there for oh you gotta you gotta take care of the black man and you know oh, you know he is the precious resource he's the only one that can reprocreate the nation and all this and some of us let this thing go to our head I Ask the Most High to forgive me for the time in my life when I was a fornicator. I asked him to forgive me and I denounced not, not the women that I was with because, again, it's sin is sin, but I denounced what I was practicing. See, the thing, the, the thing with you is now that you, you say that you with the, the Lord or Yeshua or whoever and you denouncing fornicators and you denouncing adulterers or whatever, but you yourself are still an adulterer in your mind because you saying, I did these things without the knowledge of Yah. But now that I know, I got that, and I know, uh, so you say you know, y'all, you still are in a form of adultery and fornication. But now you, you just like the book of Romans, what Paul said. He said, think ye, old man, because you know the law, that just because you know the law, you can break the law because you know the law. What makes you different than the, 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 the Gentile out there? that does not know the law, but yet is keeping the law. It's ridiculousness. And we must speak out against it because 
is some people, especially women, it seems to be more women that become uh, interested in this in this than anything. They will come into this madness and be hooked up with one of these, uh, as the Bible calls them, brute beasts. And I'm putting my voice out there and I'm asking the most high, even now as he is uh, uh, pulling down judgment on those that trouble us of other nations that within us, those that are troubling us, that the most high would deal with them too. It's time out. It's time out for all these women channels having to say this and, and, and no men channels stand up and, and, and add their voices to this. I'm adding my voice to it and say it's got to stop this hatred against black women. This, why do you think the black woman put the fake hair in her head in the first place? to attract you. Why do you think the black woman was lightening her skin in the first place to attract you? Why do you think the black woman was laying down and producing babies over and over and over with you because she thought that was going to show to you that you that she loved you, but no matter what she do, she would never satisfy you because you don't even love yourself. Because if you can't love the, 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 the race of woman that produced you, you hate yourself. I'll say that again. If you can't love the race of the woman that produced you, how can you love yourself? Because that woman produced you. There's time out for this. And the Most High is going to deal, he's, he's going to deal with this. Let's not forget Deuteronomy and the curses where he said, we in your land of your captivity, that even when in your land of captivity, I will get a sword after you to cut you down. And why? Why do you think it's so less of men than it is women? Who do you think the sword has been coming on more than anybody? It's been us. That's why I keep my body in check so that, as Paul said, I don't become a castaway. And like I said, this is not nothing new that just started with the camps. It was in the Christian Christian church, too. It's in Islam. It's in every, every, any kind of religion that we are, are in. You're going to find the majority of it. And these, this was produced as a, tra a, tra a trap. For, for our lust to, to trap us in our, in our lust, the fowler, to catch us. Because he told, Paul told us, flee youthful lust. And so, I'm, excuse me, I'm adding my voice to this. And I'm asking in the most how I deal with the, the the troublemakers, the ones that's out here that's causing this violence against our black women, kidnapping, even in Africa is happening. It's happening there. Because how is, why and how is these, these African, black African women going over to the Middle East, um, having to go and possibly being, being uh, faced with the choice of being a prostitute in the Middle East because they was going over there trying to be a maid if they don't have no man that was there to, to try to take care of them and their, their family. You understand what I'm saying? This thing is not just uh, 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 here in, in, in America. It's wherever the Most High scattered us. And this was a problem because what did, what did, what did uh, Yah tell Moses? He said, your king shall not multiply to himself wives. Then when Samuel told the people the man of the king that would have, that, that, that came up again about the multiplying of, of wives to himself, that they wasn't supposed to do it. And see, 
they always go back to Jacob and Leah and Rachel. But if you can remember, Jacob initially only wanted Rachel. He didn't want two wives and he and, and, and their handmaids. He only wanted Rachel. But Laban tricked him and he got Leah. So he ended up with Leah and Rachel. And you see the problems that they had. You see the, the problems with multiple and, and that's not to say that it can't be made to work if you know you repented and you asked most high to forgive you and to help you work it out but it's gonna have some problems because the pattern was set from the beginning with the 12 tribes that in in, in the courses of, of of things that happen in in the book of genesis we can see the same thing that's going on in our families today worldwide not just here in america but I'm here to tell you, we must stop this. We must, the Bible said, uh, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. The Bible says that the woman's hair is her glory. We must lift up our black women, not to worship them as Aphrodite, not to worship them as Astroff, but we must lift them up in high esteem so that the king the of glory the glory of the most high will shine upon them right now there is no glory upon them because what we the who the, are supposed to be their kings are not lifting them up yeshua lifted up the the uh the uh, body of Messiah. He lifted it up, gave his life for it. What woman outside of your your mother are you willing to give your life for? Well, I'm not even asking you to give your life. I'm asking you to uphold the image. I'm not saying that we celebrate wickedness and debauchery but if we look at everything that the black woman a lot of times is doing she's doing it to attract you but the bible says that we are supposed to be their covering we are supposed to be those that edify her we are supposed to be the ones that instruct her in righteousness but we got to be righteous you can't be trying to be righteous and, and teach and hold your Bible up and slam it down on the ground and say, I'm the head of this house. I'm telling you, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. And I thank the Most High God that he helped me through these and has kept me and my wife together for over 30 years. It's only by the grace of the Most High God that we are together and we love each other I can't say that you know it's, it's been a storybook uh, life I know it hasn't been for her with, with me and and like I said being groomed to be the average uh, young black man that we would have to mortify the deeds of our flesh and be a one woman man be satisfied with the wife of your youth and let her love always ravish you okay so i've said en enough for right now that's not to say that in the future i might not come back again and say some things but right now like i said i had to throw my voice in there and say that stop this black man stop putting down the black woman encourage her you can you can you can denounce the 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 evil behavior but don't don't denounce the whole race of black women and don't let some some woman within our people or without our people talk about uh, our people remember that every race out there came from the womb 
of a black woman. Eve was, and Adam and Eve were both black people. Everybody that got on the uh, uh, ark, knowing all of them, they were black people. So let's stop this. And 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 and, and black women, I I usually don't try, I don't try to go into this because there's plenty of black women out there that can correct you. I would just say this: be 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 happy with the way y'all created you. Ask the Most High to accentuate the beauty that He is giving you, because the Most High can can crown you with natural beauty without having to put all this essential stuff upon you. The Bible said, how beautiful are the feet of those that preach the gospel of peace. It's something about a woman that is at peace with her herself. That's beauty in itself, confidence. So I'm going to just leave it there and say, uh, if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Be blessed.